Hey, Happy Fox users. Today we're going to learn how to set up our smart rules. And what smart rules are basically are automated actions that you have the ability to customize by simply clicking some drop down options. There's no coding involved and it's going to save you a lot of time. So, for example, uh, these are some smart rules I've created. I'm going to show you, but I want to show you how smart rules work a little bit better here. So whenever a staff agent or a customer is filling out a form or whenever a customer sends in an email, it has some information in it and Happy Fox will take that information with its smart rule and translate that ticket and already automate some processes. So for example, a customer comes on here and fills this information out and I know that they have a customer support issue and it's for this Android software and they've set the priority and they're gonna enter their subject line and then they're gonna enter their contact information. And when the ticket gets created in Happy Fox, rather than Happy Fox having this, all of these default um, options here, where the, the ticket status is new and it's not assigned to anybody in this case and the priority is low and it's this one says assigned to the default category which isn't even necessarily a category so it's got all these default options but when setting up a smart rule I have the ability depending on the information entered into the email or form I have the ability that once this ticket is generated off the bat in Happy Fox I can have a status set to whichever I want. I can have the priority or categories already set. I can have this ticket already assigned to a particular department or staff agent. And obviously, therefore, this doesn't have to be uh, manually done. So back over to our smart rules and we'll see how to edit them. You're going to click on your manage tab, click on your sub tab of smart rules here. and I want to show you what the form looks like basically that you're going to be filling out to create a new smart rule. So you're simply going to enter the name of your smart rule. You could have an internal description here. You can activate or inactivate smart rules with this option. You can connect your smart work, smart rule to a work schedule, which work schedule is another video, but you would manage your work schedule using this button right here. And then you're going to set the conditions you have for your smart rules by simply using these drop down options. And notice you have some default drop down options here. And then you also have drop down options that apply to the custom fields that you have set up in your Happy Fox account. Okay. So you're going to pick these drop down options. You can add however many conditions or delete however many conditions you'd like. Um, and then you're going to set your action statement and then associate it to a particular category. So that being said, I want to show you an option or I mean a smart rule that I've already created and help make a little bit more sense. And this is a pretty simple smart rule. And so to open it up, I'm going to click edit. And this is just labeled smart rule number one. And I have a very basic uh, set of conditions here. Um, notice I only have uh, conditions set up in this one category and not this second category, which we'll get into momentarily. But to explain what this smart rule is saying is if I have a ticket and the status is, or is not, you can select, is open and the customer message has been unresponded to for the last three hours, then I want you to take the action of setting the priority to high. Okay, so this is a very simple uh, smart rule, um, but it's, it, it really helps with automation and speed things up as you can see. So really quick notice that I have two sections here where I have to match all of these conditions in this section or I can match any of the conditions in the next section in order to create my action statement. So what this means is you have and conditions and you have or conditions. So let me pull up this other smart rule so I can explain a little bit more thoroughly what this means. So this is a very similar smart rule that I have created. And I have some or conditions listed in this smart rule. And I also have a cool action set up. So basically, 
this match all conditions, what this means is that any condition in this section must be true. Therefore, uh, this section reads as if the status is open and the priority is critical. However, this next section is your or statement, which means any of these conditions may be true, but one of them has to be true. Okay, so in other words, let's read this out loud. Um, what this is saying is if the status is open and the priority is critical and the VIP customer is VIP customer one, two, or three, then I want you to take this action of sending an email out, okay? So you can see how you have and conditions or conditions. They work a little bit differently. And then you have your action statements from this, which we'll get into this great action here, which is send an email out. So notice I've got this weird looking tag here. If you don't know how to operate tags, basically I'm going to, if I have a ticket that matches all of these conditions and one of these conditions here, then I'm gonna send an email to maybe a supervisor, or maybe I wanna send an email out to all of my staff agents so that we can get this ticket taken care of ASAP since it's critical and a VIP customer. So I can either email, uh, I can either enter the email recipient email address here, or I can insert a tag. And for example, let's say all category staff. So you're gonna click in, uh, insert tag, select whatever you want. And what this is going to do is pull all of the email addresses for the staff agents that are connected to the support category. And you never even have to enter this information in once or you never even have to enter their email information in once because this is doing it for you and then you can enter the subject which um you could either uh free text the subject or you can enter a tag as well and then that goes uh, the same for the body you could also insert tags as well as some free text if you want and this one says let's get this done asap right and you're just going to save these settings and once these settings are saved once it's going to make me do this, once these settings are saved, as we mentioned earlier, you're going to have a completely automated process where nobody has to come in and send emails. As soon as a ticket from a VIP customer is switched to critical, everybody's getting an email. Everybody's going to be able to jump on and solve this itch issue as fast as possible. And you can see that you can enter as many smart rules as you want with however many conditions you want as well and set it up as complex as necessary as well and that way your job is much easier you're saving a lot of time and everybody's happy thanks for using happy fox everybody if you have any other questions of course feel free to email us anytime we're happy to chat with you have an awesome day